Hello guys, how are you doing? I'm really sorry I missed the last week video, but I'll make sure I'll catch up it and I'll, I'll give um, some videos quickly so we can catch it up. Um, so last time we discussed about the lambda expressions and um, how the lambda expression works and uh, what it does, right? So there was a one missing piece on this formula which is the functional interface because you can write the lambda expression but in order to call the lambda expression you need a functional interface. Um, you will say no but yeah for now yes. Uh, but a lot of people say functional interface introduced in Java 8. That is what they say so like when people come and okay what is special about the Java 8? Java 8 introduced something called functional interface. This is actually not true but not false also. So let's talk about it, okay? So if you're not subscribed yet, this is the right time to go and click on that subscribe button and also the small bell sign uh, next to the subscribe button so you will get a notification whenever I upload the video. Okay, here's the thing. There is a concept called SAM, single abstract method. SAM, single abstract method. So this concept was not introduced in a Java 8. This concept was there. Right. So what happens is we it's kind of a revamping. It's kind of a reforming this. Right. B like if you say functional interfaces introduced in Java 8, that is not wrong or that is not uh, true as long as you can explain it. This is how things work. So SAM and the functional interface means single abstract method. So that means your interface can have only single abstract method. Keep in mind, this is very important, not the single method, right? It doesn't say single method. It can only contain single abstract method, right? So indirectly, that means it can have more than method, but which should not be abstract, right? So that is how, that is a kind of a tricky question, even we ask in an interview, right? So it can functional interface have multiple methods? People say no. It is not no, it is yes, can, but those are not should not be abstract method. So uh, prior to Java 8, we had callable interface, runnable interface, and a closable interface even, which is introduced in the Java 7, right? So um, the runnable interface has a single method, which is a run. Closable interface has a method close. So this means we had this concept before but it's not properly named as a functional interface. So now, this is how it's work. So you have an interface and you can add a method to that, right? So with the Java 8, remember we are going to discuss, we have a static and the default methods as well. But any given interface, if it has only one single abstract method, we call that as a functional interface. Okay, so advantage is you can use a lambda expression along with this functional interface, right? That means, so those days we had a concept, we have to have interface and then we have a class to implement that interface and then we call that class, right? So now we remove all those intermediate part, we have interface which is a functional interface and we just call that functional interface through lambda expression without uh, having a, a specific separate implementation. So now, let's say you have a functional interface, right? You think this is a functional interface and then you have a single abstract method which is completely fine. Then you have one default method and some other static methods. It's fine because as long as you are single abstract method. So now let's assume you deploy this project and one year later some change request comes, right? So you are not there. Maybe you also forgot it and you go and add other method to that same functional interface. So what's going to happen? This interview question, okay? So what's going to happen? All the Lambda expression will fail. Why? Because this is not a functional interface anymore. So the, the actually this is kind of a tricky game. Why? Because the Lambda expression doesn't do some magical thing, right? So if it knows this class has only one method, right? So that means it knows this implementation is belongs to that method, okay? So that means it's not a magic, 
right those days we had interface class and the, the some other class to call that but still we do have all those pieces but in a different way it's kind of a hidden game right why because if the interface only has a one method you don't have to specifically say this is the, this method is implementation right when you see when you get this name let's say interface is a, a right so you have a method called x so now if if you guarantee a only can have a x method to implement as abstract method then obviously your implementation is a x method right that's the trick uh, it used so by the way this is um, so let's say in our story now all the lambda expression uh, usage will fail right so now there's a concept right fail fast so now what java did is they introduced a new annotation called functional interface what the annotation does is when you put that annotation i'm going to show you when you put that annotation on top of a class compiler knows this is a functional interface so that means compiler knows this class can only have a single abstract method right so the moment that so same story one year later the moment you add second method compiler will complain you compile will not compile your program it will complain you saying this is a functional interface you can't add any more methods okay remember we only can't add single abstract method to functional interface we can add any default method any um, uh, static method anything okay so let's see how this work so now you can see in my screen we have an interface uh, account right so we have a um, interface called account so this has a, um, a deposit method right so this is qualified as a functional interface right you can see there is there are no errors right so that means this is qualified as a functional interface so now i'm going to add new method called withdraw the moment that you add the withdraw method it complain oh no you can't add a method that because this is a functional interface okay agree okay so now you go and add one default method right so you go and add one default method so now what happened functional interface is silent that means this is legal okay cool so you go and add so now other static method still fine right okay so you go and add other default method okay so print two fine you another static method okay calculate interest two fine right but you add one more sam method single abstract method it failed right so now you know how these things work okay so there's a one more hidden point okay let me just show you that so just think you have a functional interface right so i'm going to create other interface okay so this interface is let's say loan okay so this extends accounts okay so this extend account interface so now what i'm going to do i'm going to add the default method here default calc okay that's fine so it has a body right so default let's say void calc it has a body that's perfectly fine it is legal okay so now i'm going to add one more method void print which is a single abstract method okay now it says something let's go and see what something interface method cannot have a body it's tricky right okay so fine why because it should be static okay so now static method print override the static method of previous class okay fine static method you can't let's say print x okay so that's again fine so now i'm going to add other method which is a single abstract method void show this method doesn't make any sense right don't worry about the names right so now it's fine right so now it's fine so now i'm going to add i'm going to go to this one okay no complaint perfectly fine so now i'm going to add other one called hide that's fine right because it's a classic interface right but this interface is 
extend from uh, account interface okay so extend means extend means this is not an implementation right so this is extend okay so extend mean this is a more subset of the previous one right okay cool so now why I'm going to add a functional interface here it failed why because because multiple non overriding abstract methods okay fine I'm going to hide one okay so now it says now it says multiple non overriding abstract method still right but I don't understand why I don't have right so I only have these two okay just click but still it complained why because this has access to the its parent which is account interface account interface is a functional interface so that method whether you like or not it comes here right so let's let's uh, go to there and let's say um, deposit let's get the same method name and see what's going to happen ah that is legal why because now we just overriding the method okay so we just take the same method but the moment you put the deposit to here you can't do that because why it is a other method and I get free of charge my parents method which is account interface method so I have other one so you can't okay so the rule the, the trick point is if you if you go to the interview when someone asks this question the tricky point is if you if you are a functional interface it is perfectly valid someone uh, extend you that's totally valid but if you are extending from someone if that person is a functional interface doesn't matter functional interface or not by the way and you can't add functional interface annotation unless you use the same method from the previous interface okay so now now we saw this is valid okay now we saw this is valid but but this is not valid okay this is not valid but if I remove this it's going to validate why because we disconnect that the previous class thing okay so now see this this is very important I go and I remove this functional interface from here right that means the parent is not functional interface anymore but nothing changed why because that is the, that is the way most people get confused it is nothing to do with the parent interface functional interface annotation right it's nothing to do with that why because this error this warning this this problem is because I am extending someone that person has a functional a single abstract method so I get inherit that so we'll see this whether this theory is true so I remove this so now it's legal right now it's legal okay right that's how it work okay functional interface short video but we discuss what we need to know okay so uh, there are more to go because they have uh, a predicate uh, function uh, consumer interfaces and uh, supplier more to discuss see you soon in the next video till that go and subscribe to this channel and any other way you can find me in the social media go and subscribe and like see you next time have a nice week